What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the new Ardent Alien Behemoth with four times max hell, deleting titans on Canyon and other maps among many other enemies as well. So, are you ready for an absolute insane amount of carnage taking place on the highest firepower robot except for titans that exists in this game? Well then, sit down, lean back, and enjoy the show, my friends. And, uh, whoa! But first! Raid Shadow Legends has taken over and they are changing life as we know it. They've set a high bar and there's no going back from it. So use my QR code here on screen or the links down below to download Raid Shadow Legends yourself to your mobile phone or PC. Today I want to explain two amazing legendary champions to you that I've seen in the game and that I find really impressive. The first is Astralon, a legendary from the Sacred Order. This dude is a beast. I mean, just <laughs> look at him. A few facts. The perfect arena champion is especially with Countess Lix together, they become a deadly duo where his double attacks bring Countess Lix to join him for a third hit. The second insane champion is the legendary Lizardman Roxanne, one of the most fun champs to play and he's the perfect assassin, all about Veil and perfect Veil buffs, making him hard for enemies to detect, basically like stealth in War Robots. And here's something I love about Raid, it's all the free stuff you're getting when you're logging in and the longer you play. You'll get resources, shards and things that help you equip and upgrade your team or even get new champions and titles. Uh, this month is packed uh, with summer activities and raid. We're talking special fusion events to get the brand new champion legendary Verzal of the Grim uh, and many more amazing champions that all look super unique and powerful. Uh, I'd like to get one of them and send them into battle myself, man. And if you want to do that too, then follow me into raid. And here's the best way how to do it. See that inbox button here in the top right corner? This is where new players will find their awesome welcome pack once they start playing raid using my links down in the video description and pinned comment or the QR code here on screen within the next 30 days. Because then you'll get next to important resources this amazing new epic champion Shonoru, who's pretty good at the Doom Tower, by the way. So uh, don't wait any longer, get in the game and find me under the name Manny G. Yeah, so here we are in the valley map on that brand new behemoth called Ardent Behemoth. It's not just a new skin per se, it is actually a new robot basically. Has more health, uh, but of course it works the same well. We're running it with a legendary pilot, Overdrive, the maximum damage coming from drones when I activate the active healing module. And just generally, this is as high firepower as there can be on any robot in the game except, of course, Titans, as I said in the intro. Um, now, of course, keep in mind, other weapons might be able to deal more damage. Four times Devastator at 100 meters range, for example, would push out more damage. But how long are you going to survive with that behemoth in super short range brawl? Right? Something we could definitely test in another video coming up soon. If you want me to, let me know in the comments if so. But let me first delete that Fafnir real quick, who thought it would be a good idea to jump in and try and get my attention. Nope. Bad idea. <laughs> so we have a Fenrir to the left, and his shoot is gone, and yeah, ooh, there goes 30% of his health. And here we have a Jäger robot climbing up. And see, when once my overdrive goes up, look how fast he goes. Look at this, his only rescue was phase shift. That's the only reason he was still alive. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do like the content, you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, why haven't you? Subscribe right now and hit that notification bell for me, guys, and get ready for the next videos. So we have plenty of enemies on us. Also, the Jäger's robot is back, not just the Fenrir. Uh, I am out of range slightly, so what I'm doing, I'm gonna lure him into, more, into my range by walking down and then abruptly change my movement direction, come up here and say goodbye friend, or hello darkness my old friend, I've come to talk to you again. Yeah, here we go, dealing more damage to enemies at high range. And I gotta say, this is one of the very few times I was able to live an extremely long time and keep destroying everything they brought. Uh, here, there's a, I don't know, what is that? Uh, I, I think... You know what I think it is? I think it's a tier robot. It had a it had a physical shield. That's why he wasn't taking damage for the first few seconds, but now he will. Once I go in now, he will take damage immediately. Actually, wait. Let me let him come in our range. And there you go. Death, instant kill. The tier robot. In those one and a half seconds before I broke his physical shield, and the remaining two seconds was his death. Beyond godlike already. Can you believe it? The match is not even three minutes old and I've already gotten a Beyond God like from this position here. And no matter how many things I kill, 
they keep bringing more so I can keep destroying more, right? We have a Fenrir down in front of us. Freezing effect is applied to him. Maximum damage. Also trying to get a freezing over to him there to help my teammate real quick. Activating healing, but of course I lose the first weapon already at more than 100,000 HP. It's just money gaming. But here, bam, kill. Double kill. Let's make that a triple kill possibly. Nope, that wasn't mine, but you know what? It's okay. I mean, we've we, that would have been already a living legend if it wasn't for the time that was between the kills. That would have already been a living legend right there. So, we have an enemy titan down there, uh, up there, Zion his name is, and he's starting to shake his head. Look, he's not shooting me, he's like doing uh-uh, uh-uh. He's doing this on me and I'm like, okay then, man, buddy, if you don't want to fight, well, I got plenty of other targets I can shoot at, I don't have to take you only. So I'm going into my Sharenga now, I, I slapped some vengeance on it because you guys have actually requested me to run some different weapons on the Sharenga, not just Grom, Tsar and Cataclysm. So here we go with some vengeance, alright, taking revenge, I guess, v vengeance, uh, avenge. How do you make a, 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 a verb out of this, uh, with the vengeance? Uh, I don't know, tell me in the comments if you know, I guess uh, we're taking revenge, no, we're revenging I don't know, just help me out in the comments, okay? You know what I'm trying to say. So let's go for it. I emptied that entire clip. To the right is still Zion with his Titan. Uh, I'm still not firing at him, or I wasn't. Um, he was still allowed to live. And uh, I was firing at the, the bulk of enemy Titans in the center. There's two Arthurs, a Sharenga, and a Nodens. It's all in one poke in the middle. Wow. Speaking about Titan power right there, man. But, uh, you know what, I have some heavily fully locked and loaded rocket, uh, uh, uh titan sh uh, uh, sh machine guns ready. So how about we activate that max damage and go face brawl mode with the Nodens here. Vroots! Bye, dude! I gotta wear those glasses, man. It has to happen. It has to happen. The living legend glasses have to be worn. There we go. Reloading the vengeance one last time uh, and then starting to deal damage here. Of course, this guy has a shield, this guy is landing in cover, this guy is coming out of his ability. Pop, down to last stand, pop, kill. This guy would die, but his last stand outlives the entire universe. And then we go into the next kind battle with the other remaining enemies, right there. And this guy has face shift, okay, next target. This guy has stealth, okay, previous target. This guy has stealth too, next target. This guy has last stand. Can you ever deal damage to anyone in this game anymore? Seriously, guys. Bop, 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 bop. Four reasons why I couldn't deal damage to anyone. Stealth, face shift, stealth, last stand, the bab the bab they have a million reasons, right? And they didn't even have that stupid annoying shield that they could have had in the uh, Absorber drone shield. It's just annoying, isn't it? Anyway, 7 million damage, 11 kills, and zero beacons cap. I'm especially proud for those zero beacons. No, of course I'm not, but I was running a sniper, what do you want, right? You're not gonna stand with a sniper behemoth on the previous- on the- front line and capture beacons. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> Let's say it how it is. So we're on now on Canyon. Of course, another very, very good map for this type of setup. So uh, let's delete whatever this is. Uh, okay, he, did, he wasn't quite sure if he wanted to die or not. Uh, he needed some extra convincing. We have a hawk who's almost dead now. And then there's a blitz robot who on to follow in his footsteps, but he then decided to face shift. I know that the hawk is going to come up. We know, you know, I dropped him almost to death level, so he's super mad at me. The next thing he's gonna do, he's gonna try and fly up and kill me, right? So I'm already undeploying and walking away. Thankfully, you see he's coming in, his range was not enough, but now he is in fact in range, but most of his ability is gone, and that's the moment when he is going... Down! That's right. That was the word I was looking for. Yes! I love this, man. Ah, oh, 600 meters range. So much yummy goodness damage. It's just crazy, ladies and gentlemen. The firepower this setup has is really crazy. This is by far the best sniper right now, due to the fact you have no lock-on, you instantly apply freezing and other drone uh, suppression, lockdown effects, whatever it is. Tremendous damage, very quick reload. It is just the perfect weapon for long-range encounters, period, okay? And on the behemoth, the new alien ardent behemoth right there, this thing is just going to completely obliterate even titans. And yes, the titan kills are coming up now. Okay, right, are you ready? Are you ready for some serious titan killing? I am ready, but first let's fire at... What is that? It's a shell. It's a shell robot. I had to take a quick 
gander. Is that is that the right word, gander? Is, is that an equivalent to a look, a quick look at him, a quick gander? I think so, right? I am just throwing in some level 5 vocabularies now. I'm done with level 4, right? Let's go up, up a notch. So, more shells left and right, there's a shell to the right, there's a shell to the left, but this guy is in serious trouble mode right there. He's trying to get in short range to fight me, but every time he tries to gr cross open ground, he finds himself getting frozen and instantly killed or destroyed. Because with this much firepower that the behemoth has, and remember, we don't even have overdrive. We don't even have... Hold on. No. Sorry, sounded like there was somebody at my door, but wasn't actually. Uh, I don't even have overdrive running yet, so... Yeah, imagine overdrive would be there, this guy would be long gone. History. He would be gone with the wind, okay? Uh, and now he deleted the robot and spawned in a titan. He has uh, lost that entire shell robot without doing a thing, except he did capture that one beacon, which I guess is already a good thing. Now he decided! Now he decided that it's the end of this behemoth! But here's something. Not if I have anything to say about it, okay? So let's go in there and uh, activate that thing. By the way, he's at 613 meters range. Can anybody explain to me how he's still able to shoot at me? Normally what should happen is she shoots six at, out of 600 meters, you fire in a straight line without targeting anybody. He's still shooting me for some reason, okay. So here, maximum damage, overdrive, drone effect, drone shield, everything is running. Look how fast he goes down, what? He just lost 70% damage. And then by the way, again, he cheats. He's again cheating, look at this. He's out of 600 meter now, okay, now. 600 meter, take a look at how many shots he manages to pull off beyond 600 meters range, which is impossible with his weapon setup. One, two, three, four! Four shots were still aimed at me. How is that even possible? So I realized he's playing at the ra he he's playing that maximum range game, and somehow he's succeeding at that. I don't know why, but his weapons somehow have more than 600 meters range, which they shouldn't have, but they have it anyway. So I decided to unfold and walk towards him and then redeploy and heal up at the same time with my shield running. Boom! Titan Slayer! That's how we do it, and um... What? 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 You know what I'm gonna say? That's right, in the behemoth town. Nine, of course, money town, that's what we're gonna say. So, next Titan comes up right there, there he is, and now Ming, he's also in the air, but now he's gonna land. I'm gonna try and get myself ready to deal the real damage, but then he landed on the ground. I didn't want to give away my threat level, so I waited and didn't fire at him. Now he's coming out, activate, maximum damage activated, he's frozen, he's taking tremendous amounts of damage right there. Of course his resistance is higher on the ground, but look, he still took 50 or more percent damage from these few shots. And then I gotta take, somebody took aim on me with a Gauss Volt Hawk, so I decided to hide here around the formation of rocks waiting for uh, the, the stupid shield to drop. Yeah, let's call it the stupid shield, okay? It's no longer called the absorber shield, except on the Hades Nemesis and our Ares, those robots deserve to have that shield. On those robots, it's called the cool absorber shield, but on drone shields are uh, from this moment all on called the stupid shields. Can we do this, ladies and gentlemen? All right, so. The stupid shield uh, was... Uh, oh, wait, wait a minute, the Daymater also has a regular uh, legitimate shield, right? Let's not forget the Daymater also has a legitimate absorber shield. But all other robots that get a special absorber shield, they have from now on the stupid shield. Okay, and I'm hoping that Pixonic is finally gonna work on that. I'm taking revenge here on the dude with his Havoc, and uh, with his Hawk and Volt and Gauss. And if you think this is it, now I'm gonna die because there's a Titan in front of me. <laughs> no, no, no. I have a stupid shield. That's right, ladies and gents, starting to activate healing to counter his damage, and here comes the stupid shield! There it is, and that's why the Arthur does not get to kill me. In fact, I get to kill the Arthur because I have a stupid shield. Stupid shield should not be in the game, um, but it is, unfortunately. So, we have more enemies coming in. One of them is a Demeter who is currently running his ability mode. That means he cannot have his ability now. So when I open fire at him now and then at him and he comes jumping in, I know he doesn't have any defensive abilities anymore, so bye dude, and then I finally die as well. So uh, that was the video with the new alien ardent behemoth with the strongest damage setup you can run for a long range uh, setup, crazy powerful. So hopefully you guys had some fun time watching, I'm just gonna say thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal.
soon as a man can eat for more. Thanks for being with me. You guys are awesome as always. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.